In the previous videos, we discussed the metabolism of glucose. Glucose can be transformed into pyruvate that can further get oxidized to form acetocoenzyme A. Pyruvate and acetocoenzyme A are a common motif for the metabolism of proteins, polysaccharides, and lipids. In this video, we will be discussing the hydrolysis of lipids to form glycerol and fatty acids. These fatty acids will undergo oxidation to produce two unique molecules of acetoconsame that can enter the citric acid cycle. After the citric acid cycle, the reduced coenzyme NADH and FADH2 will enter the electron transport chain to create a proton gradient necessary for ATP synthesis. The metabolism of lipids is not as straightforward as it is for carbohydrates. Once we ingest lipids, they will go through the mouth untouched and they will have the formation of some droplets in the stomach. On digested tray isoglycerides, will form droplets that can be hydrolyzed by pancreatic lipases in the small intestine. These will produce glycerol units that can enter the bloodstream. Besides, small fatty acids can enter bloodstream as they are hydrophilic. Long hydrocarbon chain fatty acids are hydrophobic, however, they must be in an environment surrounded by molecules of water. In order to achieve this goal, these micelles and lipids will be surrounded by lipoproteins, which consist of droplets of hydrophobic lipids surrounded by phospholipids and other molecules with their hydrophilic ends pointing to the outside in contact with water. The metabolism of lipids will produce two different kinds of products. Initial hydrolysis of the triglycerides by the action of lipases will produce a unit of glycerol and three fatty acids. This will take place by breaking three ester bonds. The unit of glycerol will enter the glycolysis pathway. The fatty acids will undergo beta oxidation. The metabolism of lipids will require the hydrolysis of the ester bond of triesters of glycerol. Triglycerides will be hydrolyzed by the use of lipases to produce one unit of glycerol and three fatty acids. The unit of glycerol will get a phosphorylation by a kinase to produce an intermediate of the glycolysis pathway. This is the hydroxyacetone phosphate. The hydroxyacetone phosphate will become glyceraldehyde phosphate gap that can be transformed into acetocoenzyme A. The three fatty acids must be activated by reacting with a coenzyme A, forming a thioester bond. Upon this formation, the beta oxidation will occur, and that is, the third carbon from the carbonyl will become a ketone group to produce small molecules of coens acetocoenzyme A two carbon units molecules of acetocoenzyme A. Therefore, glycerol units and fatty acids both produce acetocoenzyme A that can enter the citric acid cycle. The metabolism of glycerol will require the phosphorylation of a unit of glycerol by a kinase at the expenses of an ATP molecule to transform glycerol into the hydroxyacetone phosphate an intermediate from the glycolysis pathway. In this transformation, electrons are also extracted in 
NADH molecules. This intermediate dehydroxyacetone phosphate will isomerize to GAP that is in the way of the formation of pyruvate and ultimately acetylcoenzyme A that can enter the citric acid cycle. Fatty acids are metabolized by a different process. Long hydrocarbon chain of fatty acids needs to be activated by combining a fatty acid with a coenzyme A. Once it's activated, it will be hydrolyzed in a fashion of two by two. In every round, a two carbon unit acetylcoenzyme A will be released. Observe how in every round, a two unit molecule acetylcoenzyme A is being released. At the same time, the hydrocarbon chain is shortened by two carbons. The oxidation of fatty acids will require five steps. The first reaction is anoxidation to form an alkene like carbon carbon double bond. A hydration addition of water to an alkene produces alcohol. An oxidation, oxidation of alcohols produces ketones and a cleavage. The first reaction, the oxidation of a carbon-carbon by forming a double bond, will use the coenzyme FAD extracting two electrons and two protons. The second reaction is the hydration of a carbon-carbon double bond. This alcohol gets oxidized from a secondary alcohol to a ketone, which is now a substance suitable for cleavage. The bond will break between carbon number two and carbon number three, and it will use a brand new molecule of coenzyme to produce a substance that is shortened by two carbons. The end product is a Acetylcoenzyme A that can enter the citric acid cycle. When the rate of formation of acetylcoenzyme A is a lot faster than the citric acid cycle, molecules of acetylcoenzyme A will combine to form what is called ketone bodies. Ketone bodies are acetone, acetoacetate, 3 hydroxybutyrate. This process is known as ketogenesis. The condition in which ketone bodies are produced faster than they are utilized occurs in diabetes. This is recognized by the odor of acetone on the patient's breath and also by the presence of ketone bodies in the urine and the blood. High concentration of Ketone bodies in the blood could be fatal because two of the ketone bodies are carboxylic acid products. These substances can lower the pH of the blood and overwhelm the buffers of the blood. This is known as ketoacidosis, a process by which the blood pH is dropped due to the accumulation of ketone bodies. At a low pH, hemoglobin loses its affinity for oxygen. If this condition is untreated, it can lead to coma or to death. The skeletal muscle of a healthy person extracts energy from acetoacetate. Besides, when the intake of fatty acids is short, heart muscles also will prefer the use of acetoacetate as a source of energy.